In this tutorial, I'm going to show you about how to mask out objects. So say we have a pattern that we want to use in a graphic that we create, uh, but we want to get rid of the excess and we can't really crop it out, so what we can do is we can mask it. So here we have a pattern behind it, and here I've created a shape that sits on the front. Whatever sits on front is going to be the actual mask, meaning that I'm going to take this dotted pattern and I'm going to get rid of all this excess, but not actually delete it. It's just going to be masked where you can't see it. The way we do that is we'll select the pattern, whatever object is behind, and the graphic that's in front, and I'll go to Object and I'll create what they call a clipping mask, which the hotkey command for is Command-7. And so now it's masked out the excess of the pattern within the shape that I want. And I can do this with any kind of custom shape, circles, squares, or custom shapes that I create with the pen tool. But it's a good way that you can see that the pattern is still there according to Illustrator, but we've just masked this out. You can only do masks with two things, so this pattern and the circle is one. If there's more than, uh, and this pattern was grouped together, so Illustrator sees that as one thing. But if I had, an, like, say, another square or a photo or something behind it, it wouldn't be able to mask out three things. So it's a one-for-one -one ratio. If you need to adjust things to it, you still can. See how I can use the direct select tool, the white arrow, that I could change colors if I want, and it still doesn't affect my mask. And if I want to get all of the shapes back, again, Illustrator sees them there, they're just masked off. I can move my mask wherever I want it to go, just as a regular object, or I can do what they call release the mask, meaning I select it, I go to object, I go back down to clipping mask, and I click release and then it gives me my objects back. And that's how we do masking and clipping masks in Adobe Illustrator.